So, I'm having problems with my camera. Um, we may have lost a bunch of footage stuff I filmed. I'm not sure yet. David's going to try. Oops. Light. David's trying to see if he can recover the video so I can make more videos. But I thought I'd start recording stuff on my phone for now. Um, we may be buying a new camera. We might just buy a new SD card and see if that fixes the problem. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show you our view. It's really cool. Yesterday we watched the storm roll in that way. Big poofy clouds. It was really neat. Mm -hmm. The traffic's a little loud, but we're used to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's not really different from home. But we're in Grangeville, Idaho, I believe, or near Grangeville. Um, tomorrow we head out. Where are we going? Auntie Tracy and Uncle Blake's house. Uncle Blake's? Okay. No, Uncle Greg. Yes, Blake is their last name. Uh -huh. um, it's a kind of a long drive, but it's pretty flat. So we're hoping to leave maybe around 10-ish. And then we'll stop somewhere for lunch or at least maybe a rest area. Because we have homemade lunches and Lunchables. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so this is a pretty place. Lots of flowers. I love the flowers. Come on, Annalise. Alright. Um, this is their rec room. I'll just give you a peek before we head back. Mm -hmm. So they have tables, a little kitchenette, some vending machines. Puzzles. Um, all kinds of puzzles and... Board games. A, uh, what do you call that? Fireplace. <laughs> um, yeah, they have a and bookshelf. It's dark because I didn't turn the light on. Come on, honey. Um, but they have bathrooms back down the hall with really nice showers. Seriously, the chairs feel like beds you can sit in. Yes, the chairs are comfy. Try not to fall down. <laughs> um, it's pretty nice. Campground, lots of trees. The roads are well maintained. Like I said, there's flowers everywhere. There's a few people who look like they're maybe here for long term, which is cool. You know it's a nice place to stay when they're here for a while. Oh, I did There's lots of grass. Luke really liked running around. I got some video of him running on his, uh, I don't know what you call it, it's like a tension line. But I'm walking uphill, sorry. Get out of breath. Um, I don't think that it's... I don't know if that video is recoverable or not. So we'll see if I can get him to do it again. Because <laughs> it's cute. Did you get the Yellowstone video? Some of it, yeah. Because oh. I use my phone for that. So here's our spot. Video for her mom so that she could see the uh, geyser erupting. Yeah, maybe. So, this is Luke's line. Zip line. It's not a zip line, <laughs> but he was running back and forth yes, on it. Yes, he hangs on it and goes. No. But it is nice for him to run around. Anyway, we're back now. We've got to get cleaned up and get ready to leave. I had to climb the hill. It's not very steep, but it's kind of long. Okay, stop. Would you please put the chairs away, as long as they're dry? Thank you. And I'll have Peter come out and help with the other stuff when he's done. There's my dog. There's my doggy. Hi, dog. Okay. It's a mess in here. Did you make a mess? Did you make a mess? Hi. Hi. Hi, Duke. <laughs> yes, there's Daddy. Up, up. Good boy. Hi. So excited that we're back. We, we went out to dinner at a Mexican restaurant, which we haven't had forever. 
It was tasty, wasn't it? It was pretty good. Yeah. Not so good. not the worst Mexican I've ever had. Yeah. Not the best either. So, so I wanted to kind of lay out our plan. So we're going to Tracy and Greg's tomorrow. And then the next day, oh jeez, my dog is jumping on me. Uh, to, the next day, Friday, we have the Modern Homesteading Conference. Yep. And then, sorry, Luke is trying to lick me. <laughs> get down, get down so I can talk to Daddy. Um, then the next day is the same, the conference. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just hang out with them until the 4th of July, do some sort of 4th of July thing with them. Yep. And then we don't know where we're going after that. Probably because we're like hanging out with them and probably because we're not going to get any other stuff on the 4th of July anyway. Yeah, stuff will be booked. Which I was worried about. I was kind of concerned. Like, how am I going to get us a spot <clears throat> for 4th of July? Everybody is booked. So, I'm thankful we have a nice place to stay and people we love to hang out with. Yeah. Yeah, they're alright. <laughs> yeah, they're alright. Um, so, we'll... Okay, be all done, Peter. We'll spend some time planning the next leg of our route while we're there so we can tell you guys where we're going. Right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll get this beard under control. <laughs> I like the beard. Well, I need to tame it. Oh. Need some beard oil? Yeah. Some beard comb? Yeah. <laughs> beard conditioner and beard oil. Yeah. Okay, say bye. Are you ready for a long drive? Yeah! Woo! Well, Excuse well. me? Oh, yes? Sorry to interrupt your videoing, but Dad wants to know if you're done with the water. Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. I brush my teeth. <laughs> it's important, right? Especially if I'm going to be videotaping. There is a nice thing. Yes, we have AC. It's running. Oh, and also the okay. person makes you in my room, but it's pointing at my head if I sleep with it. Yeah. I like your outfit. Yeah. What's it say? Get a coffee. University. The school of hard knocks? Yeah. <laughs> okay, say we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Bye. I forgot my sunglasses. So while I'm walking down to the building to use the restroom. I wanted to mention um, the internet. So I said that I download some podcasts for the drive. How do I do that? Well, most of these RV campgrounds now have Wi-Fi, which is really nice. Um, I don't know about this one because I haven't tried it. Hi. A lot of them are kind of slow. A lot of people on the same network can bog it down. It's not very helpful. But we, before we left, we got Nomad, which is a mobile internet or whatever. Oh, it uses awesome. Verizon networks, I believe. Yeah, it's all right. Peter's with me. Um, which our cell phones use T-Mobile, so it's kind of like if Verizon doesn't hit, T-Mobile does and vice versa. Uh, the Nomad, I would say it's been hitting about maybe 80, 85% of actual getting a signal, but I'd say it's only about 50% useful because sometimes the signal is just so weak it's not worth using it. You can get little spots of internet, but that's about it. And, so, yes, and yes, I, I, I call the nomad to just this one out of ten. Oh, yeah, he's rating it one out of ten. But we ordered Starlink, the RV mobile one, um, that should be at the Blake's when we get there. So we should be able to pick that up. And then we'll have two ways to use the internet, which will be good for David for work. Hello. Well, these are Peter's little friends, so I won't show them on camera. <laughs> so we're getting ready to go and the the black tank it's really important that it get empty just the way it distributes weight um, we also want to make sure we're fully dumped before we go and what do they call it mooch dock at Tracy and Greg's because they don't have a way to dump um, so we'll be using their bathroom and not the RV one which David and I don't really use the RV bathroom just the kids um, especially at night. <laughs> uh, but we do need to dump it, and it's a little slow sometimes. We gotta make sure that it's all cleaned out, because if you leave solids in the black tank, I'm sure you can imagine, um, without enough moisture, they can get dry and clumpy, and then it's near impossible to get them cleaned out without chemicals and stuff. 
So we just want to make sure it's good and cleaned out. So we're taking a few extra minutes to fill up the black tank with fresh water and then dump it again just to make sure we got everything out of it. Um, I watched a lot of videos on different RV solutions for the black tank. Black tank being the toilet flush, in case you didn't know <laughs> the jargon. So black tank is your um, sewer and your gray tank is like your um, your dishes and your shower and stuff that's not poo related. Um, so we're just trying to take a few extra minutes. We may be leaving a little later than I'd hoped, but it's worth it to make sure this is taken care of because we'll be at Tracy and Greg's for almost a week. And if you can imagine, it's gross, but solids sitting in your black tank for a week, not a good thing. So it's worth it. Take the time. Um, and you know, if you plan to do any any amount of RVing, you should look look into this stuff because there's a lot of cool tricks. I've heard of people like flushing ice down their toilet, like empty the black tank and then flush ice down the toilet, and the ice will jostle around while you're driving and basically knock off any solids that are stuck to the sides of the tank. And then when you get there, it's melted and you can flush it out. Um, so that's another trick, but I learned all this stuff just watching videos on YouTube and reading articles. Just look it up. It's cool how much information there is out there to help you so you're not like alone in the wilderness trying to figure this stuff out on your own. Um, you can also rely on the resource of the other campers in your campground. Um, there's lots of people around. And some of them full-time RV. Like there's people here with massive propane tanks. I don't, I don't think you can see it. Um, like over there, this massive propane, because they're here for the long haul. They're here for weeks at a time or months, um, and they deal with this stuff daily. So they probably are a wealth of information. If you ever get stuck or have a problem fixing something, don't be afraid to ask for help. <laughs> uh, she says, as she's afraid of asking for help. <laughs> I know, I got to take my own advice, right? But that's how we learn. So as soon as this stuff is done, we've already got our stabilizers up. David just needs to hitch and then we'll uh, pick up the blocks and we'll be on our way. <laughs> 